you've decided for your project that you're going to do a uh, vertical landscape. Now, the differences between the vertical and the ones that are usually done is most of them are done horizontally. Yours is going to be done tall, uh, which means that there's going to be more of a concentration on the sky. This is about more of decorating the sky and doing something interesting and uh, kind of more design, uh, letting your eye flow through the sky more than it's about having the bottom, uh, which is you know where your foreground, middle ground, background are. But that doesn't mean that these things still aren't important. So let's talk about the rubric. Here's your rubric. It's right up in front of you. All right. First. There is a landscape located near the bottom with a clear four middle and background with no parallel lines. You, uh, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going, or what you've already done, is you've looked at an introduction to landscapes. If you've already watched that video, you obviously skipped it. But if you forgot, you might want to go back in and watch it. So I've got a foreground here. I've got my guy way up, and up close. I've got my middle ground, which is this stuff right here, and then I've got my background, which is this right here, this little sliver, and then all this. Um, I don't want to see parallel lines, meaning you're going one, two, three. Like, I want to see crisscrosses. I want to see things a little bit more interesting. So, uh, really, the layout portion of the uh, project with that is not uh, as important as the layout up here. Um, with the layout up here, the rubric says that you're going to need to um, make an um, interesting composition or design that moves the person's eye through the project. Uh, what that means is I, I'm, I'm doing things here that's go, that's drawing my eye upward. Um, the colors you use, everything that has to do with it, but your, your raw part is going to be how are you laying out things here to make a person's eye go up to the sky. I don't want the ground to be the interesting part. The interesting part should be up here. So once you've laid it out, you've got foreground, middle ground, background, things are interesting up here. Uh, now you're going to be going to the colors. In here it says the colors used have a good contrast and are used to draw attention to the sky rather than the ground. So again, our, keep it in mind the entire time is everything that you're doing moving the person's eye upward. So um, here I used more dull colors down here and I used more vibrant colors up here so that I looked up here. Now what contrast means is the darks and lights, okay? Um, I used more dark colors down here, I used more light colors up here. Um, I dulled down my colors with like, uh, like using their contrast and stuff like that or their complements. I dulled them down up here, and up here I used just the raw color right out of the um, the container so that I have more vibrant, uh, interesting things up here than I do down here. So once again, my, my eye is moving up here. Um, the painting is neat and clean with little to no smearing. You do not see any paper in the project. I don't want to see any paper. This entire thing needs to be covered. Um, You'll obviously, when you uh, watch the how-to, you're going to uh, you know, notice that I put my lines right up next to it. Like when I, I paint something, and then when I paint the next part, it, my, paint, my paintbrush goes right onto it, if not over what I've already painted, so that I do not see any painting. Um, painting is neat and clean, meaning there's not like scraggly edges all over the place. Uh, you've got enough paint on your brush that you're not seeing brush strokes all over the place. I want this to be nice and neat. You are being graded on that. It's the main part of your project is how well you paint it. So take your time with it. Don't race through this. So, uh, again, when you're thinking about laying out this stuff, I put the guy here pointing up so that if somebody starts at the bottom of this project, they kind of go up here and then they kind of weave through it as an S. Um, uh, how does your designs work? Uh, you'll see when I'm doing the designs, I, I had one that I kind of wish I would have done, which is one with like a comet or a, a, a shooting star where it starts down here and it moves up here. Is my eye, are you using like the, the, the things that you're drawing are creating a person to look all over the project, but mostly look up at the sky. 
keep that in mind the entire time you're doing this. Am I looking up at the sky? And once I get to the sky, are the things that I'm looking at interesting? Again, that should be the crux of it. Am the, are the things I'm doing making me look at the sky? And then once I look at the sky, are the things I'm looking at worth it? If you keep that in mind, you're going to do great on this project. So I do recommend you pulling up the rubric, take a look at it, uh, go through it, and uh, that's it. Uh, you guys will see, I, I uh, will start this project from the beginning so you can see everything I did to get to this point.